Dear students, in this video, we discuss about various disk scheduling algorithms in operating system. Moving head disk mechanism. A disk is made up of several platters are circular in shape and the platter surface is connected with a read write head with the help of arm assembly and the, the each platter is divided into so many number of tracks each track is divided into so many number of sectors all the platters are connected with the help of central spindle and the central spindle will rotate the platters in circular fashion and the arm assembly move the read write header on the surface of the each platter in forward and backward direction when the required data from a particular track and sector is needed, the arm assembly move the track to a corresponding cylinder on the platter and the central spindle rotates the platter to bring the track and the sector under the read-write head such that the read-write head will read the data from the corresponding sector present, the, present in that track. In that way, the read write with the help of read read write the header and the central spindle, the required data from a corresponding platter is obtained by the disk handling mechanism. The operating system is responsible for using this hardware efficiently for the disk drives. This means that having a fast access time and greater disk bandwidth. Access time has two components, seek time and rotational latency. Seek time is the time for the disk arm to move the heads to the cylinder containing the desired sector. Rotational latency is the additional time waiting for the disk to rotate the desired sector to the disk head. Minimizing the seek time is nothing but minimizing the seek distance. Where various descheduling algorithms are there, first in first out algorithm, the shortest seek time scheduling algorithm, elevator algorithm. Under elevator algorithm, we have four varieties. One is scan algorithm, look algorithm, C scan algorithm, C look algorithm. These are the four varieties under the elevator algorithm. Let us find out the execution of these algorithms on one particular example. Consider a, a, an example considering IO request queue consisting of the request to the various cylinders. The cylinders are 0 to 199 and the request for the cylinders are 98, 183, 37, 122, 14, 124, 65 and 67. First come first serve scheduling algorithm handle the IO request sequentially so it is fair to all processes. This approach random scheduling in performance if there are many processes or requests. Suffers from global zigzag effect. First come first serve scheduling algorithm. Here consider the queue of IO request 98183 up to 65 and 67 are there. The initial head position of the read write header is at the cylinder number 53. As we know that each platter is divided into so many cylinders, there are 200 cylinders are given in this example. 0 is the first cylinder, 199 is the last cylinder. The current position of the read write header is at the cylinder number 53 and the incoming requests are like this. So from 53 we need to serve the request in the first come first service order. So from, nine, from 53 we go to 98. So that means the head moves for 45 cylinders. Then from 98 it will go to 183 that is the next request. From 183 the next request service is 37. So from 183 the head moves to 37. Again head moves from 37 to 122. 
From 122, the head moves to 14. 14 to 124, the head moves. And 124 to 65. Then from 65 to 67. So this this is the order of the servicing the IO request for the cylinders. The total movement of the head is 640 cylinders in this example. This is the effect of zigzag effect in the first in first come first serve example because the head is moving from left to right and right to left in order to service the request in the order of their arrival. So the head is not servicing the request which are nearer though it has to follow the principle of first come first serve. So therefore the head moves to the desired cylinder number even if there are some cylinder requests are nearer to the current head position. That is the disadvantage with the first in first serve algorithm. Next algorithm is shortest seek time first algorithm. According to this algorithm, it selects the request with minimum seek time from the current head position. This is also called as shortest seek distance first algorithm. It is easier to compute the distances. This algorithm is biased in favor of the middle cylinder's request. Shortest seek time first scheduling is a form of shortest job scheduling algorithm. It may cause starvation to some of the IO requests. Let us examine the working of the shortest seek time first algorithm for the given example. The current head position is 53. From 53, from the from 53, it will find out the nearest request. So among the list of available requests, 65 is the nearest request. So therefore, 65 will be serviced first. 53 it service will be to 65. From 65, the next service is 67. 67 is next nearer to 37. So, the next service is for 37. From 37, the next request service is 14. From 14, it will service 98. From 98, it will service the next Nearer request 122, from 122 the next the nearest request is 124, from 124 the next nearest request is 183. So finding the distance between one request to another request, if we sum in, if you sum up the, all the differences of this request, the total number of head movements across this request is 236 cylinders. Suppose if 5 milliseconds is the seek time for moving from one cylinder to another cylinder then to move 236 cylinders the time required is 236 into 5 milliseconds that is equal to 1180 milliseconds. This is the approach of shortest seek time first algorithm. Coming to elevator algorithms, this algorithm is based on the common elevator al principle. There are four combinations of these elevator algorithms are there. One elevator algorithm is it will service the request in both the directions from left to right and right to left. Another, another uh, variation of this elevator algorithm is it will service only in one direction. And the third variety of elevator algorithms is it will go until the last cylinder request, last cylinder and fourth variety of uh, elevator algorithm is the disk moves up to the last IO request. Let us examine the working of these elevator algorithms. 
the algorithm that surveys in both the directions and, and reaches the last cylinder is called a scan algorithm. The al algorithm that surveys in both directions but it will reach only the last request cylinder is called as look algorithm. Algorithm that surveys only in one direction but touches the last cylinder is called a C scan algorithm. The algorithm that surveys only in one direction and reaches the last request is called as C look algorithm. Now let us take up scan algorithm. The disk arm starts at one end of the disk and moves towards the other end, servicing the request until it gets to the other end of the disk, where the head movement is reversed and servicing continues. That means the head will start at one particular point and the head will move either in the left direction or right direction. Assume that the head is moving in the left direction. So, the, it will service all the requests en encountered in the left direction. Once it touches the last cylinder number, it reverses its direction and go in the rightward direction and service all the requests in the rightward direction. Once it touches the last cylinder, again it reverses its direction. Like that the elevator algorithm, the scan algorithm will service the request in one direction to another direction. So therefore, the, it moves in both the direction until it reaches both the ends. So, this movement, movement is more fair to the extreme cylinder request. That means, when there are some requests which are at the extreme ends, once it touches the last extreme, if some new, in, new requests are generated which are nearer to the extreme ends of the cylinder, extreme ends of the platter, then those requests are serviced before the requests which are present in the middle of the platter. So that's why this algorithm is more fair to the extreme cylinder requests. Let us examine the execution of the scan algorithm for the given example and assume that the current head position is at 53 and head is moving in the leftward direction. So, whoever requests are coming in the leftward directions, those requests will be serviced first. So, from 53, the head is moving in the leftward direction, 37 is the request coming. So, 37 is serviced. From 37, the next request is 14, 14 is serviced. From 14, the head touches the last cylinder 0. So, from 14 to 0, there are no requests, but the head will touch the last cylinder and it will reverse the direction towards the right, rightward side, right hand side. From 0, again it will move in the rightward direction and the next request is 65, 65 is serviced. From 65, it will go to 67. Then 67, it will go to 98. From 98, it will go to 122. From 122, it will go to 124. And finally, it will service the 183 as the last request. But when you look into the example, 183 is the second request made by the I.O. But this is the last request serviced by the scan algorithm. The total head movements across the cylinders are 236 cylinders in this example. Coming to look algorithm, the disk arm starts at the first I.O. request on the disk and moves towards the last I.O. request on the other end. Servicing the request until it gets to the other extreme I.O. request on the disk where the head movement is reversed and servicing continues. It moves in both directions until both I last I.O. requests are reached. It is more inclined to serve, serve the middle cylinder request that is the speciality of the look algorithm.
let us see the working of the look algorithm for the given example in this look algorithm as the algorithm says it will start from the current head position and move in one particular direction assume that it is moving in the leftward direction when it moves towards the leftward direction whichever requests are coming it will service them in that direction so 14 is the last request in the leftward direction so from 14 to 0 there are no more requests are available so therefore the head will reverse its direction and towards the right hand side while it is moving towards the rightward side right hand side whichever requests are coming in the right right hand side they are serviced so from 14 it is going towards the right direction next request is 65 it is serviced next request is 67 it is serviced the next request is 98 then 122 from 1 124 then 183 183 is the last request serviced in this look algorithm so the difference between the scan and look algorithm is scan algorithm will touch the last cylinder in both sides so when it is when head moves from current position to left it will touch the last cylinder and reverses its direction in scan algorithm again while while it is moving towards the rightward side it touches the last cylinder last cylinder in the rightmost direction and once it touches the last cylinder then again the head will reverse its direction so while traveling from left to right and from right to right right to left whichever cylinder requests are coming they are serviced in the scan but in the look algorithm the head will move to the last request in that direction it will not touch the extreme cylinders so in that way the some head movements can be reduced in the look algorithm so here 14 head movements are reduced so com compared to scan algorithm the number of head movements in look is 208 cylinders coming to c scan algorithm the c scan algorithm c look algorithm will service the request only in the one direction these algorithms will service the request only in the one direction the head moves from one end to other end of the disk servicing the request as it goes when it reaches the other end it immediately returns to the beginning of the disk without servicing any request on the return trip so that means it will service only in one direction for example this is current head position consider the head is moving towards the leftward direction so it will re it will service all the requests in the leftward direction once it touch the extreme cylinder it reverses its direction and go to the rightmost cylinder without servicing any requests in this direction again it starts servicing the request in the leftward direction so this is the c scan algorithm working principle c scan algorithm treat the cylinders as a circular list here that wraps around from the last cylinder to first first one so that means it assumes that the cylinders are in the circular fashion so from current position it touches the last extreme and again from that extreme it reverses the direction and then services provides a more uniform wait time than scan it treats all the cylinders in the same manner now let us look at the c scan working principle for the given example current head position starts at 53 assume that the head is moving towards the rightward direction so whichever requests come in this direction they are all serviced once it touches the last cylinder then it reverses its direction and at rapid speed the head will move 
to the leftmost direction leftmost cylinder without servicing any requests in this direction again from left to right the requests are serviced so the number of head movements are 183 in this c scan algorithm that means the the requests are serviced only in one direction the head touches the last cylinder in both directions coming to c look algorithm it is a look version of c scan arm only goes as far as the last request in each direction the services are done only in one direction and arm also touch the last request only it does not touch the last cylinder scan version has a larger total peak time compared to the corresponding look versions let us examine this with the help of an example c look algorithm assume that current head position is 53 and the head is moving in the rightward direction and the last request in the rightward direction is 183 so from left to right it will service all the requests coming in that direction and the last request is 183 so it will stop at 183 and the head reverses its direction and uh, in this reverse direction the the request will not be serviced and it touches the extreme cylinder request in the leftward direction and again it will reverse servicing of the request in the right in the rightward direction so from 53 it will go to 65 65 to 67 67 to 98 98 to 123 122 to 124 124 to 183 180 is the last request in this direction so head reverses its direction and it will not service any request in this direction and it will reach the last request in the leftward leftmost end that is 14 14 is the serviced then from 14 the head reverses its direction and move towards the rightward rightward side right hand side and uh, in the right hand side whichever requests are falling in they are all serviced so 37 is the balance request in the right right hand side so therefore 37 will be serviced so the total number of head movements are 153 so this is better than c scan algorithm Thank you for watching this video.